Today, I'll be making this $2,000 designer lamp for about 50 bucks. Here's how I made it. For this project, I'm going to be using walnut, but you can really use any wood you'd like. I'll start by breaking down my lumber into strips that are roughly 24 inches long and 1 and 3 quarter inches wide. After I have my lumber broken down, I'm going to make a plywood table saw sled to cut the angles I need. To do this, I'll set up my table saw fence so that the edge of the plywood is right up against the blade. Then I'll set my thin piece of plywood at a 30 degree angle from the cutting edge by screwing it to the sled. Once I have everything set up, I'll clamp my walnut strip to the sled and push it through the blade, giving me a repeatable 30 degree cut. After I've cut that angle on one end of each of my six walnut strips, I'll measure 24 inches from the cut end and mark it. Then I'll line up my pencil mark with the cutting edge of the plywood sled and screw down the hard stop so I can cut all my pieces to the same length and angle. Now that I've cut out all my pieces, I can glue together my triangles that will come together to make the pyramid shape of the lamp. To glue these up, I'm going to use blue tape and some wood glue to glue the miter joints together, then I'll use my offcuts to clamp those joints. After my glue is dried, I'm going to come back and sand those joints so I have a flat face for the next step. Here I'm going to use a jig called an auxiliary fence to cut a steep angle that I normally wouldn't be able to cut without it. First I'll clamp my triangle to the auxiliary fence and tilt my blade to 30 degrees. Then I'll line up the inside corner of my triangle right up to the edge of the blade. After I have everything set up, I can go ahead and make my cut on both of my triangles. If you don't have an auxiliary fence or don't feel like making one, you can always just cut the edge to 45 degrees and have a slightly wider pyramid. Now that I've cut these sharp angles, I'm going to glue them together using some wood glue and blue tape.
After my glue is dried, I'm going to head over to the router table to cut the grooves into the pyramid for my LED neon strip. I'll use a slot cutting bit that cuts as wide as my LED neon so the strip fits snugly. Once I've set my bit to about halfway up my piece, I can go ahead and route around the inside edge of both my triangles. After I've routed around both triangles, I'll cut a thin slot using a chisel to connect the two sides to let my LED neon strip go from one triangle to the other. Then I'll make another slot to let my LED neon go from the bottom of the pyramid into the slots. I used a drill bit that's as wide as my LED neon strip and drilled two holes next to each other. Then I used a chisel to widen the slot until my LED neon could fit through. Now it's time to finish. Since I used a dark wood, I went with a wipe on oil finish to enhance that nice walnut color. After my finish is dried, it's time to put the LED neon strips in. To keep my strips in place, I'm going to spread some silicone caulk into the grooves and clamp it down as I go to keep it in place while it dries. You could also use blue tape instead of clamps to hold it down. Once I've inlaid the strip around both sides of my pyramid, I'll cut the strip and put the rubber end cap on. After about a half hour, I came back to scrape off any silicone squeeze out with one of my off cuts. Now that we're all done, it's time to test it out. The price total came out to be about $30 for wood, $17 for the LED neon strip, and $5 for consumables like sandpaper, glue, and finish, giving us a grand total of $52. I'm really happy with how this lamp came out, especially for how inexpensive it was to make, but let me know what you guys think in the comments, and thanks for watching.